everyone. This is our PowerFlow, PowerFlow Dental Halter. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a demo um, of how I use it in my practice. Um, so this is our dental halter. It's a polyethylene um, enforced rod, kind of in the top and bottom of this, um, just to be able to support the head once it's in there. Um, this is a cleat that we, uh, this is kind of what keeps the, the head up and um, you put your rope through. So I'm just gonna show you how um, I use it on a sedated horse. Um, usually I have the speculum on the horse already and this uh, sedated, obviously. Um, so here. So this is our rope, that's how I hold it. Um, so this horse is in stock, so I'm obviously gonna use the stocks, but I've also done this over um, tree branches, I've done this in shelters, um, on the top of uh, stall doors, um, anything really that's above that's really sturdy. Um, so all I wanna do is throw it on the inside and then have it come over and towards us forward here. this. Um, so once you get the other end, you just feed it through the top of the cleat. Then you push the rope down into the cleat and it'll stay. So that's all you need to do. Um, so again, once you have your, your speculum in the horse's mouth, all I do is pop it under. You know, I'm just like a regular halter. You don't want it too tight. Um, you want the bottom of the halter to be under the chin of the horse. Very important to keep um, to be able to support the head properly and then all I do um, is I pull the rope the uh, loose end of the rope towards me to undo the cleat put my hand um, in a V under the cleat push up grab the rope so it doesn't come down reposition my hand grab the rope and then once you get the head to where you want it, push the rope back into the cleat and it'll hold the head up for you. Um, once I get going, I find this rope gets in my way. Um, so all I do is put it through the halter like this. You still wanna be able to grab this. So if something happens, the horse um, reacts to something and, um, and you wanna avoid a wreck, all you need to do, um, pull your rope, undo the cleat. It undoes as a quick, a quick release. Um, so that's how I let the horse's head down as well, obviously, when I'm done. So when we're up. So all, all you do, again, just pull the end of the rope towards you, undoes the cleat, and you just let it down slowly. So there's a, another way that people um, like lifting the head as well. So that other method is just grabbing the end of your rope, pull it towards you, pull the head up, and then pull down on the rope and then it just kind of automatically locks a little bit for you too. So that's another way to do it. Lift the head, pull down on the rope, lock the head. So that's the other way to do it as well. So there's a, another way that people um, like lifting the head as well. So that other method is just grabbing the end of your rope, pull it towards you, pull the head up, and then pull down on the rope. And then it just kind of automatically locks a little bit for you too. So that's another way to do it. Lift the head, pull down on the rope, lock the head. So that's the other way to do it as well. Okay, so this is the, the head that comes with it that's detachable. Just for safety, um, when it's not in use, you just keep it in this, in this sleeve and just keep it from getting broken and bent when it's in the truck. Um, so that's that part. Um, so it's pretty easy to use. Again, it comes with a, it's a lithium battery. Um, it's rechargeable lithium battery. Just pop this off, pop the end of the charger in into the wall. Really easy to recharge. Um, just has a motor and a, and a filter in there. Um, so this is the on off switch pretty obvious um, and the other big thing you just obviously have to make sure you have a water source um, so this is the water source that comes with it it's uh, just tap water this is tap water which is great um, and then once you have have it on you just need to prime the line and it's ready to go in the horse's mouth um, so once you're ready to go horse is sedated and ready
so it has a coil line so it's nice and flexible. pockets that you're trying to uh, clean out or gas. Um, so this head swivels to go to the other side as well. My name is Shannon Lockhart. I'm an ambulatory equine veterinarian here at Moore Equine in Alberta, um, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, sorry. Um, so I'm here just to show you about the power float, how to use the power float light specifically. Um, so this is the new light that Dr. Ock has developed. It's a lot brighter, also smaller profile. Um, the batteries last a lot longer. It's a really lovely light. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys how, how to use it, how to attach it to the horse um, to have, have the best use. Um, so it is lithium batteries, um, it's, they're very easy to change. All you do is you pop these out. The batteries last about 11 hours um, of working time, which is great. So there's all your batteries. Um, it also comes with a charger as well. Really easy to use, just plug it in, pop all your batteries along and they all fit, all six of them fit in there. Easy to pop out. Um, so to put them back in, you just have, oh, six of them in there. All well, you have to do is just follow the instructions inside on how to add the batteries back in. Pretty easy. Just like that. You also just have to line up the lid as well. Make sure you have positive to positive, negative to negative as well. So just like that. Push down and then both of these blue knobs just in and tighten and they just tighten down. Now to turn it on and off there's a little button just beside those blue buttons right here. That's your on on and off. There's two brightnesses. So first click does the brightest. One more click lowers dims the light. A third click turns it off. So that's how the light works. And I'll just show you there's a couple ways you can um, attach this to the horse. So the way I like, and because I have a dental halter, I just add a clip to my dental halter and you can clip the power, power light right to the clip. And it's on the horse just like that. So it's easy to get to, you can turn the light off and on, very easy. That's what I do just because I have a, a dental halter. If you don't have a dental halter, the other way you can attach it to the horse is using right on the speculum. So all you do is you just, Take your carabiner off and it attaches right to the speculum. Um, easiest way is probably getting this on is just to slide it on before you put your speculum on and just slide it so you don't have to undo everything. Or um, you can just do it this way as well. Tighten, push, and then it's on the horse just like that. Again another way of, of doing things. And that's it. My name is Shannon Lockhart. I'm an ambulatory equine veterinarian here at Moore Equine in Alberta, um, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, sorry. Um, so I'm here just to show you about the power float, how to use the power float light specifically. This is the new light that Dr. Ock has developed it's a lot brighter, also smaller profile. Um, the batteries last a lot longer. It's a really lovely light. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys how, how to use it, how to attach it to the horse um, to have, have the best use. Um, so it is lithium batteries. Um, it's, they're very easy to change. All you do is you pop these out. The batteries last about 11 hours um, of working time, which is great. So there's all your batteries. Um, it also comes with a charger as well. Really easy to use, just plug it in, pop all your batteries along and they all fit, all six of them fit in there. Easy to pop out. Um, so to put them back in, you just have oh, six of them in there. All well, you have to do is just follow the instructions inside on how to add the batteries back in. Pretty easy. Just like 
that. You also just have to line up the lid as well. Make sure you have positive to positive, negative to negative as well. So just like that. Push down. And then both of these blue knobs just spin and tighten. And they just tighten down. To turn it on and off, there's a little button just beside those blue buttons right here. That's your on, on and off. There's two brightnesses. So first click does the brightest. One more click lowers, dims the light. A third click turns it off. So that's how the light works. I'll just show you, there's a couple ways you can um, attach this to the horse. So the way I like, and because I have a dental halter, I just add a clip to my dental halter and you can put the power, power light right to the clip. And it's on the horse just like that. So it's easy to get to. You can turn the light off and on. Very easy. That's what I do just because I have a, a dental halter. If you don't have a dental halter, the other way you can attach it to the horse is using right on the speculum. So all you do is you just take your carabiner off and it attaches right to the speculum. Um, easiest way is probably getting this on is just to slide it on before you put your speculum on and just slide it so you don't have to undo everything. Or um, you can just do it this way as well. Tighten, push, and then it's on the horse just like that. Again, another way of, of doing things. And that's it. Okay, so this is the, the head that comes with it that's detachable. Just for safety, um, when it's not in use, you just keep it in this, in this sleeve and just keep it from getting broken and bent when it's in the truck. Um, so that's that part. So it's pretty easy to use. Again, it comes with a, it's a lithium battery. Um, it's rechargeable. Lithium battery, just pop this off, pop the end of the charger in into the wall. Really easy to recharge. Um, just has a motor and a, and a filter in there. Um, so this is the on off switch. Pretty, pretty obvious. Um, and the other big thing you just obviously have to make sure you have a water source. Um, so this is the water source that comes with it. It's uh, just tap water. This is tap water, which is great. Um, and then once you have, have it on, you just need to prime the line. And it's ready to go in the horse's mouth. Um, so once you're ready to go, horse is sedated and ready. Pretty easy to use. So it has a coil line, so it's nice and flexible. You can go in and use it in your perio pockets that you're trying to uh, clean out or gasp. Uh, 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 um, so this head swivels, so go to the other side as well. Uh, 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 and that's all the interviews.